Go. Hi, it's Terry, and tonight I am going to be demonstrating and showing you the new ergonomically designed crochet hooks from Athena's Elements. Now she's had her ergonomically correct crochet hooks out for some time, but she has recently made this wonderful case to hold them. As you can see, we've got nine crochet hooks, all of varying sizes, and with various colors to denote the sizes, which I really like. Here you have a ruler, and on this interior pocket, she has included a bunch of really nice goodies for us. Two large pins. These are for counting and holding your stitches. Several smaller pins, also for the same purpose. When you're crocheting and you need to stop, you can put your little hook there in your stitch, close the snap on the hook, and you don't lose your count. There's a pair of scissors in here. They're very nice and they are sharp. And since I've got a knot right there in my thread, I will show you how good those work. Isn't that neat? We have here several sizes of plastic needles. And what these are used for is um, closing up um, granny squares, attaching uh, squares together, or attaching um, long strips together, very handy, and the measuring tape. It's really pretty color, the glasses on. and it's a 60 inch long um, measuring tape with centimeters and inches, by the way. And some, well, I thought that was thread, but you know, I really actually do not know what that is. Um, that's bad. Oh, it's a counter! Oh, sorry about that. It's, <laughs> it's a stitch counter. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not doing too well today. Let me put these all back together. I love this. It's got a zippered closure here to keep all of the little items. And, of course, it's got this zippered closure here. This is a hard case, too. It's not soft, so it's not going to get misshapen or knocked out of place. And what I want to do for you is show you how these needles work. This is a large bulky thread, so I'm going to get a larger hook. I believe this is probably a size H hook. Whoops. As every crocheter will tell you, the first thing you're going to do is screw up just as soon as you try to, to start your, your first chain. We all do it. I don't know why, we just do. I think it's part of the crochet ethic that you always have to mess up, especially when you're trying to show other people what you're doing. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're still going to do this. I refuse to I refuse to admit defeat. I know how to crochet. Trust me on this one. My grandmother taught me how many, many years ago. I was just a little girl, and I'm still not doing it right. This plagued my mother the other day when she was helping me review the um, the other hooks. There we go. See, I told you I could do it. What I like about these hooks is this long rubberized piece that takes up probably more than two-thirds of the the base of the hook itself, but it's soft. It's it's not a it's not really pliable, but it's it's a very soft rubber. It's large, so for those of us with arthritis, it makes it so simple, so much easier to do what we're doing. Um, your hands don't cramp when you're holding just a tiny little needle. Say you're holding it this way. That's that's tight, you know. You're really having to to, to uh, squeeze your hands together, and if you've got arthritis, you know, that's no fun because your hands will start cramping, and you can't do it. 
Now my mother's been using these for about a week now and she swears by it. She loves it and I do too. If you can see just how easy it is, it forces you to hold your hand correctly, which is, is um, not something you do when you're just holding a rounded hook. You see the ease at which you move in and out? I inspected all of these hooks. There are no burrs anywhere. There's no you know, um, hard metal pieces. They've all been rounded off nicely. Each one of these has a lovely, um, you know, different color. This is a 4.5 millimeter, which I'm guessing is probably the G hook. I think on this one. But each one, like I said, is color coded and if you do not know what size the, the centimeter um, indicates, you can always go online and find that. Like I said, these are from Athena's Elements and she sells these wonderful needles online on Amazon.com and I'm going to be doing a, a written review for you on my website which is www dot gatheringmyroses.com and I will be showing you some pictures of what I'm doing. I'll be telling you more about the needles themselves and I'll be telling you about the company and I hope you'll join me there.